Okay class, now we're going to look at accepting a note from an overdue customer. So our customers are their accounts that they have with us. So that would be an account receivable, right? So if we sell something on account, we're going to debit the account receivable and credit sales. Then we'd also debit cost of goods sold and credit inventory, okay? But we're not looking at that second part of the transaction. What we're looking at right now is that account receivable. We have a customer that owes us, in this case, $1,000. The customer didn't pay us though. And so we're converting this with an agreement with that customer to a note receivable, meaning they're gonna pay us later. Okay, so we wanna take it off of our account receivable. And they've agreed that they'll pay us in 90 days and we'll also earn 10%. So to reclass this account receivable to note receivable, it's very simple. We're gonna debit note receivable, and I'm saying this is taking place on August 2nd. We're going to debit the note receivable, that's an asset, which will increase it to 1000 And then we're going to eliminate the account receivable. So we'll credit the account receivable $1,000. Okay? So this is the transaction that we'll do to eliminate the account receivable off the book and to establish the note receivable. Now, let's assume that on uh, October 31st, which is the 90 days, that this customer of ours pays us. Okay? So if they pay us, they're gonna to have to pay us the interest too. So over here on the side, I have the calculation for our interest. You calculate the interest by taking the principal amount, the amount that they owe us, which is $1,000, times the interest rate. Our interest rate, I said, was 10%. So 10% is 0.1, okay? But that would be for a full year. This is only 90 days. And in most business transactions, we use the banking, the banking way of doing this, which is 360 days out of a year. Okay, that's just what we usually use, all right? So we're going to take 90 days divided by 360 days in our year, okay, which gets us $25. So that's the interest that they're going to pay us, $25. So now, what's going to happen is on October 31st, we will get $1,025. So that's our debit. Our credit is to note receivable. of $1,000, and then our journal entry is not in balance because we have to eliminate this. We're eliminating this debit by crediting it, so now they don't owe us any money, and then we've got our interest revenue, which we just calculated off to the side there, uh, $25, okay? We call this honoring the note, okay? Textbook terminology is they're, they've honored the note, they paid the note off, okay? So this is an example of honoring a note. Now let's take an example of uh, dishonoring, not honoring, dishonoring the note, okay? Let's say on 1031, this customer doesn't pay us. I'm gonna put off here just to make sure that we know that this is a dishonored note, okay? On 1031, in this example, the customer doesn't pay us, and isn't planning on paying us anytime soon. Because we've, we've been in contact with them, and for whatever reason, they're having financial st struggles, whatever it might be, they're not paying us. So what happens is we convert this back to an accounts receivable because it's no longer accruing interest. The interest is only for 90 days. 90 days are up now. So we're going to put it back into accounts receivable so that we can monitor it with our other accounts receivable and possibly write it off in the future. All right. So to put it back into accounts receivable, debit our account receivable for, now notice here, this is different. We're going to debit accounts receivable for $1,025 because they owe us the interest now. So that's why we added the interest to the account, to this receivable, all right? And then we need to eliminate now the note receivable So we will credit our note receivable $1,000, and then we do get to recognize our interest revenue because we did earn $25 of interest revenue. They haven't paid us yet, but that $25 is included in that account receivable. So I've gone through what a note receivable is. Okay, I've gone through the note receivable with an overdue customer. Okay. Uh, we've gone through them honoring the note, paying it on time. We've gone through an example of dishonoring the note. All right? Good luck, class.